Hello ladies and gentlemen this is Mumar Jalal and welcome to another exciting tutorial of Animotion Pro In this tutorial I am going to show you how you can make a realistic glass in Unreal Engine 5 So let's start this tutorial So first of all we are going to make a new material and then left click on it and make it material instant and name it MI glass material drag the material and put it on the sphere now open material we just have created and let's make two constants three vector and convert them to parameter Select the both nodes and name the group to color. Now name the first parameter outer color and for the other one inner color. Now to blend these parameters we are going to add LERP node and plug the parameters to it. and then to base color and for the alpha channel we are going to add frenzel node and put it to alpha and add const1 vector and plug it in frenzel and convert it to parameter and name it to color frenzel and change its value to 1 select these nodes and press C to add comment and name it color press apply now go to material instant and here we got our two parameters for inner color and outer color. Now we can change the inner and outer color from material instant in the real time. Let's select this color for inner color and for outer color we are going to choose this greenish color. And also we can change this color frenzel from it. So here is a nice little trick. I'm going to right click here and click promote to parameter on all three of these and for the metallic I'm going to grab all of these and call this base parameter the specular I'm going to set its default value to 0 0.5 and then the metallic and roughness I leave to 0 but I'm going to clamp their slider max to 1 with all of them selected I'm going to hold down C we'll call this base parameter Now once we save this go back to our material instance and now we have the ability to change the metallic, the roughness and the specular.
All right, so moving on down, let's go ahead and tackle the opacity. So right now, opacity is grayed out. And that is because we need to change our blend mode from opaque to translucent. Once that happens, you will see that our metallic specular and roughness get grayed out. But opacity opens up. So in the order to get the metallic specular and roughness back, we need to come down here to the lightning mode and change it from volumetric non-directional to volume to surface translucency volume. Now we'll get those base parameter back and have the input for opacity. So we can start with opacity by grabbing a constant, converting it to a parameter called opacity plug, that into opacity, converting it to a parameter called opacity plug, that into opacity. And we can set its default value to 0 0.5 and its slider max to 1. Okay, so here it is kind of looking like a meteor. We've got this opacity slider now which means it will be completely translucent or we can raise it up to one and it will become completely opaque. Let's put it in a group called opacity. Let's apply it and let's check it out. All right, so let's drive the inner and outer areas of glass opacity with that. I'm going to duplicate this and let's change the name. So the bottom one, I'm going to change to opacity outer and the top we will change to opacity. And the top we will change to opacity inter. We will learn between the two of these and we will drive that alpha with the frenzel and we will need another parameter. We will add blur node and plug it into parameters and then to the opacity and add frenzel to the alpha channel. We need another parameter. Uh, we add constant one, convert it to parameter. and name it opacity. Hit save and go back to the material instant. And here we can add the inner opacity and outer opacity. And also Opacity frenzel here. Select these nodes and press C and name it opacity. 